What's the difference between a tuna and a piano? The answer is at the end of this video. But before that, do you have a dog that keeps barking out of the window? If you do, this video is exactly what you need to see. Just know that you're not alone. There are plenty of people with dogs that are barking out of the window. And you know why? Because it's actually a normal behavior. Seriously. Intro and let's begin. Hi, thanks for joining me again. I'm Dr. Ryan, a veterinarian and a veterinary behavior residency graduate. So how come your dog is barking out of the window? Why am I saying that this is actually a normal behavior? Well, because we actually selected dogs to live with us and kind of feel that they're a part of the family and they do become territorial. Not all cases are because of this territorial behavior, but many dogs do bark at people and dogs walking outside the window, in the street, coming into the driveway, knocking on the door, because of territorial behavior. Now, because it's actually a normal behavior, sometimes it's really hard to extinct that behavior. If your dog is barking, out of the window because of different reasons, for example, fear or aggression, then what I'm going to say might still work, but you might also need to do other things. So the first step is always finding out why your dog is actually barking out of the window. So tip number one, try to avoid triggers. That means blocking the access to the window and maybe even frosting your windows with some kind of frosting stickers. You can actually buy them online or in any of the big home improvement stores. The second tip is try to distract your dog before he starts barking. Once he started barking, it's a lot harder to get his attention. So for example, you see someone walking down the driveway and you catch it before the dog saw that person, try calling the dog to you and give him treats or Give the dog something else to do, like playing with a ball or eating a long-lasting treat or anything that you can think of that your dog likes doing and will keep him away from the window. If your dog is already barking, and this is tip number three, try to move him away from the window physically. Now, when I'm saying physically, I don't mean hurt your dog or do anything that might scare him, but you can actually gently move him away and then of course go to tip number two and let him do something else. How can you move him away? For example, using something like a drag line. Tip number four is actually what you need to avoid. And I don't mean avoiding triggers like tip number one. I mean hurting, yelling, screaming at the dog or doing anything that makes the dog fearful. And that also includes all kinds of stupid tools, and I'm sorry I'm using the word stupid, but they are stupid because they're only making things even worse. But tools like shock collars, anti-bark collars, ultrasonic collars, and other tools that are supposed to scare the dog or distract the dog. They don't work or they will work for just a short time. And let's say that they do work for some reason, they usually only create a bad association between whoever is outside and a very scary and aversive trigger, making the dog afraid of the trigger. I hope you learned something and if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. If you do feel that you learned something, like or subscribe or both or neither. So, what's the difference between a tuna and a piano? You can tune a piano, but you can't piano a tuna. Got it? See ya!